Hello, my name is James McDermott and I am a Norfolk-based playwright and poet and I teach script writing at the Marina Theatre in Lowestoft. All of our classes have been cancelled because of COVID-19 and so they've asked me to create a series of short online videos that you can watch that will contain exercises that can help you start writing a play in self-isolation. So what we're going to do today in the first of five videos is have a look at how you might generate some material that you could write about. So just generating lots of inspiration for potential plays. So the first thing I want to say about writing is that I find the word writing really intimidating. When I sit down to write, I find that quite scary because writing is what I did at school and it was marked. Writing is what uh, I do for a job and it's kind of reviewed. So the idea of writing feels really, really intimidating. So I tell myself that I'm going to sit down and scribble and the word scribble suddenly feels far more free because I can make mistakes. I can cross stuff out. I don't have to worry about spelling and grammar. and No one has to see it. So if you find the idea of writing difficult or intimidating, tell yourself that you're going to sit down and scribble and hopefully that story you tell your head will help you do it. So to generate material, what I do is a series of exercises called free writing, where I will set a timer on my phone and I will write as soon as that timer starts and not take my pen off the paper and stop writing until that timer finishes. That way, that stream of consciousness that you write down will contain your natural rhythms and preoccupations as a writer and reveal what you're really, really interested in writing about and how you might write about it. So we're going to do three exercises in this video, all of which will use free writing. So pause the video now, grab a timer, grab a piece of paper and grab a pen. Thank you. Great. So if you're ready to go, this is the first of three exercises. I would like you to free write for three minutes about yourself. Write down anything you can think of about yourself. Pause the video for me, start your timer and free write for three minutes now. Go. Thank you very much. The second exercise is this. I would like you to write down for three minutes anything you feel about where you live. So write down about place. What would you like to change? What do you love about it? Um, where do you go? Whatever it is. Three write for three minutes on that for me now. Go. Thank you very much. And the third and final exercise, I would like you to write down anything you would like to change about the world. However big, however small. Three minutes on that now. Stop the video and write. Go. Fab, thank you. So the hardest part of writing is writing. You've now just written solidly for nine minutes, um, which is a great, great start. All of those responses will contain things that you could potentially write a play about. The first response, write about yourself, will contain lots of hobbies and interests you have that you might want to explore in a play. It might reveal lots of your complications and contradictions as a person, some of which you might want to explore in your play. Writing about place will give you scenes and locations that you can set your plays in. Um, there might be characters within that response or conflicts within that response, all of which can um, be used as material to write a play about. Also on place, when I first started writing plays, I thought that I had to write plays about London, America, or castles, or conservatories, or dining rooms, because all the plays I saw or studied at school were set in those places. You absolutely don't. Someone told me you can write a play about where you're from, you can write a play about a place you'd love to go, all of that stuff is material to write about. So don't think that you have to write a play set in London or set in a conservatory because that's where you've seen an old cow or play set. You can write a play about the places you know. And that third and final response of writing about any questions you have about the world, anything you'd like to change about the world, um, all of those answers to that question can generate loads of material for plays. And without getting mighty about it, to me, playwriting is the coolest thing to do because you get to gather people together in a room, they turn their phones off, they turn the internet off and they listen to what you've got to say for a couple of hours or 10 minutes if you're writing a short play. That's a really powerful position to have, to be able to make people turn their phones off and listen to what you've got to say. So if you want to change the world, write a play about those things, write a play about why you want to change those things, and people will come and see it, they'll turn their phone off and they'll listen to what you've got to say, which hopefully will galvanise them to change those things outside of the theatre. So all of those responses you've written today have generated lots of material. In the next video, we will have a look at sifting through that material and selecting something you might want to write about and then creating a character. So the second session will be about character. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something in this video useful. Stay safe, stay sane and stay creative. I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.